Money Pit is brought to you by Stanley Tools, your trusted name in quality hand tools. To learn more about their complete line of quality tools and everything for your toolbox, visit stanleytools.com. This is the Money Pit Home Improvement Radio Show on air and online at moneypit.com. I'm Tom Kreitler. And I'm Leslie Segretti. And it's never been a better time to buy some new energy efficient products for your house with all the tax credits that are out there, uh, including perhaps buying some new appliances because there are all kinds of rebates out there that are available, including a Cash for Clunkers program for your old and outdated appliances. Mm -hmm, That's right. But in order to take advantage of those rebates, you really have to do a lot of homework and quite a bit of legwork as well. But the good news is there is now one-stop shopping for rebates where you can find all of the information you need, saving you both time and a heck of a lot of stress. So here to tell us about it is Lee Guthman. He's the founder and CEO of Appliancerebate.com. Welcome, Lee. Hi. great, Great to be here. And Lee, having looked into the appliance rebate program in uh, a lot of detail, I'd add one more qualification to what you need to be to collect that rebate, a certified accountant, because (laughs) it's pretty complicated. And I like what you guys are doing on your site because you make it pretty easy to figure out what the states offer. Uh, You know, let's just kind of start at the beginning. Tell us about the appliance rebate program and explain why uh, why the opportunity varies so much from state to state. Sure. The federal government back early in 2009 allocated approximately $300 million to be shared among different states um, and territories with rebates ranging from different amounts from state to state. Could be $50, could be $250 for the uh, purchase of energy efficient appliances. Um, The program was initially launched to help uh, stimulate the economy um, in addition to also helping consumers obtain energy efficient appliances and save some money. Uh, and so with the program, each state was allocated a certain amount of money, and they, it is left up to each state to allocate that money to a program as they see fit. So you have $300 million, which is you know essentially a rounding error on any day in Washington, D.C., <laughs> Uh, And then that's divided up using some formula on a state-by-state basis. And then the states have to divide it up again and figure out which appliances they're going to cover. Doesn't that seem to be extraordinarily and unnecessarily complicated, or is that just government at its best? (laughs) You know, we took a look at it and were confused um, by all the details around it and really did a lot of investigating into it to see if there was a way to put some method around the madness to help it easier for for a consumer to understand uh, what it is that they would be due by living in a certain state. Yeah, and I think you've done a pretty good job um, on your website. I was playing with it before. I put in my zip code, and then I sort of uh, clicked through the different appliances. And I was surprised that, uh, like in my state of New Jersey, nothing available on uh, refrigerators. No refrigerators, whereas I in New York had a ton of refrigerators. Exactly. So it really does vary by state. And I guess the other problem here is that it's uh, it's a moving target because these states are bringing on appliances all the time, aren't they? Right. I, I think you're exactly right. And and what you've seen on the website is that in addition to the significant amount of dollars that may be out there for an individual by certain state for an appliance, there's also a tremendous amount of savings that could be generated from their local utility and municipality, mm-hmm. which is something that we found um, really pretty unique and that really consumers didn't even know about it. Right. And so the rebates, though, I think the other thing that's interesting to note and, and the Certainly the part that comes from the utility company is one. Uh, These checks actually can come from several different sources, huh? You got that right. So in addition to the ones that most consumers know about from a manufacturer or the retailer, um, there's the state clunker program that's going to be coming up. But what we found is that there's significant savings from the local at their zip code levels um, at the utility and municipality level, so from electric company and gas companies, both for traditional rebate programs as well as recycling programs where the local utility or municipality will actually pick up your appliance and pay you. So you've got the federal rebate, uh, you've got the state rebate, you've got the utility company rebate, and probably a manufacturer rebate. That's four right there. Exactly. And then presumably you could even get a retailer rebate and, and, and stack it up in the F5. Well, I mean, how much of a rebate are we talking about? I mean, is this a lot of money here? Is it going to cover the cost of the new appliance? Or, you know, are we looking at 50% or does it really just vary and is so arbitrary? It really varies. Um, certain states are more progressive than others in terms of offering these, these rebates at the utility municipality levels. For example, one of the interesting ones that we found is 
that if you live in Florida um, in a Fort Pierce uh, covered zip code, you can actually save $175 from the utility company by buying an energy efficient refrigerator. So you can save $175 there. Um, there's going to be a Florida State rebate program, which is going to start around Earth Day. Um, and then there's also manufacturer rebates to, to add on to that. So you could be talking about saving two, three, four hundred dollars $400 off wow. the cost of a refrigerator by just doing a little bit of research. We're talking to Lee Guthman. He's the co-founder and CEO of Appliancerebate.com about the appliance, the Cash for Clunkers appliance program. Varies a heck of a lot uh, by state. You mentioned Fort Pierce, Florida being a particularly good area. Uh, where are the clunker states? Where, where is it uh, really, really difficult to get any money out of this program? You know, it, it really depends. Um, some of the states that it could be difficult to get the money out of, for example, in Alaska for, for citizens that may be living there, uh, the requirements living in Alaska, the citizen would have to actually be a disabled citizen in order to qualify for the clunker rebate program. Uh, versus some other states, and most of the other states are more progressive in offering it at all the different levels for clothes washers and dishwashers and um, and the like. So um, it really varies state by state, and you know the amounts vary as well. You know, some cases they're as low as twenty five, and in some cases they're as high as two hundred. So you know, again, you just really need to check kind of state by state to see what you're eligible for. Well, Lee, I mean, you've mentioned that in some cases we're talking about five potential rebates. That seems like a lot of paperwork to fill out, a lot of forms to copy and receipts to copy and stickers. You know, how do I know what I need to include and what I need to fill out and, you know, what the process is to get all of those rebates? Sure, and that's exactly one of the problems that we found when we were looking at all this is how do we help a consumer put all this information together. And so in addition to actually finding what the rebates are at a dollar amount, we also aggregate all of the forms. So any of the rebates that are in our system, we actually have the corresponding form. And so, for example, if, there's a, you know, if someone lives in Fort Pierce, Florida, and there's a form for the utility company and the manufacturer and the state clunker program, we would have all three of those forms. And when someone searches for an eligible appliance, if that appliance is eligible for those three, one screen pops up, you type in your information into one box, um, and then you print the, press the print button, and all of the forms come out pre-populated with all the relevant information. Oh, that's great. Now, yeah, there's that's going to be information that we don't know about you, like your utility number or a specific SKU number for an appliance that you may buy. So we include an instruction page on the front of these so as to tell you exactly what you need to do to finish the, the application process. Well, i got to tell you, Lee, you guys have taken a very complicated process and, and made it a heck of a lot easier. So uh, well done. The website is Appliancerebate.com. Go there, check it out. Find out what's available in your state. And i got to tell you, as I've said before, with all of these tax credit and rebate programs, do it now because the gravy train is going to be uh, <laughs> heading out of the station. And if this is anything like the other Cash for Clunker program that we saw with cars, uh, it's going to run out of money faster than a uh, car crusher can uh, crush a clunker of a car. So get on it, get it done, get your new appliances, get your new windows, your doors, anything that cl- that qualifies for the tax credit. Do it now, do it this year uh, before the money runs out. Lee, thanks so much for stopping by the Money Pit. Again, great job. Thank you. All right, up next, you know, is the high cost of heating your home making you think about changing some things around your Money Pit? Well, when we come-